Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make a rainbow cookie shot glass. To begin, I'm going to do my shortbread recipe. So I have some butter going in a standing mixer, and gradually I'm going to add in my caster sugar. Let that beat for about two minutes and add in your vanilla extract and your dry ingredients. I'll have the recipe in the description box below. Once it's done, turn it out onto a floured surface and cut it out into six equal pieces. Gonna colour these, all the colours of the rainbow, except for indigo, and just work that colour into the dough. Next, I'm adding in my sprinkles. You could do this with the dry ingredients instead of doing it afterwards, but I didn't think to do it until afterwards. <laughs> then wrap it in cling film and leave in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, spray your little moulds with some canola oil vegetable spray and that'll ensure that the cookies don't stick to the mould after they've baked. I've got my red cookie dough and I'm just pressing it into the bottom, making it kind of like a disc. And then I'm rolling out my colours into little sausages using a fondant smoother just to help me get a really even um, size. I'm pressing the orange first into the cookie mould here and I'm pressing it down into the red dough as well, just to make sure that it sticks. <laughs> then you want to flatten it out as well, just to create a surface like a bed for the next cookie to sit on. And add in your yellow, and just keep going like that, progressing through the colours of the rainbow. And if you find that they don't quite meet up at the end, just add a little ball of the same colour of dough. You won't be able to tell. And make sure that you flatten it out after each addition of dough. And that'll create a much more even looking cookie as well. At the end, I'm putting in my violet or my purple and I'm flattening it out the top. And that way when it bakes, it has a bit more of an even surface. Then pop them onto a tray and into an oven that's been preheated to 180 degrees. I baked mine for about 15 minutes. And you'll notice I haven't put anything in the middle. My method's a bit different. And they'll tend to expand in the middle. And after about 20 minutes they've cooled down, I just press in the middle and make a little well. I find that this comes out a lot more even and you have a lot more control over it as well. If you did want to do the traditional way, you could use a, um, I'm using here a cannoli tube, but because it has an uneven end, it ends up cutting through the cookie. So if you could find something with an even end, like for example, maybe a kind of loney tube instead, or even a wine cork would work, or a wooden cylinder, something that you can put in the middle of the cookie that's also safe to bake with. You can check out the bloopers at the end for the fail. Oh well. And then just take them out of the mold and we'll put in our chocolate. I'm filling it about halfway up the cookie and then I'm going to tap it and just let it cover the whole inside. If you have any spaces that aren't covered, it's likely to make your cookie really soft and you could potentially have holes that way as well. And just tap out all the excess. Should look like that and pour in your milk. So easy. That's time to taste test. Oh. Beautiful. You can really taste those sprinkles in there. And the white chocolate goes really well with the shortbread. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you really soon. Let's give this a taste test, shall we? Oh, oh my god. What? There's a reflection. <laughs> oh, there's always a reflection, but you can't tell what's going on. Hi. 